I'm on Facebook. All right, I think we should uh, tilt this camera down a little bit, guys. The um, uh, Jabor camera, because it's getting a lot of ceiling right now. Mm -hmm. Like this. Yeah, yeah. You see, like the comment, the comments are covering all the stuff. Yeah. 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 So the comment is on the black off. Maybe even a little bit more. Maybe more. Yeah, I, I think right there is good. Yeah. Like this. Cool. Now a little bit too much. That was a little too much. <laughs> Okay, so well, let's see here. Looks like we're uh, live on Xiaomi live stream, and we're just about to go live on Facebook as well. Double checking here. All right, looks like we're live on Facebook too. Uh, let's see. All right, here we go. We have we have <laughs> we have uh, four hundred viewers on Facebook. This was this happened in in, in what just a ten matter seconds. Of seconds. A matter of seconds. Seconds. Um, well. Uh, welcome guys, uh, this is uh, our uh, Mi Drone unboxing live stream. Uh, we are live to you from uh, Beijing, from Xiaomi's headquarters here in Beijing. Uh, 500 people on the Facebook live stream, we're also uh, live streaming on uh, Xiaomi live stream app. Um, tell all your friends, uh, they can dial in, uh, we're going to get ready to go here in just a few minutes. Uh, we've got a big crew here, you can't see them because they're right behind the camera, but you can probably Woo! hear them. Woo! And uh, so we've been preparing this for a while. We're pretty excited. Uh, you uh, can see here the main reason why we are uh, broadcasting live to you today. Uh, if you are on Facebook, um, you uh, should know that I can see all of your questions. So if you ask me questions and I happen to be looking down here, I'll know what you're, what you're asking. Uh, I'll give you one quick reminder. Uh, if you uh, if you want to be notified of any cool uh, unboxing live streams or other cool product live streams that we do on Facebook, um, just uh, go up here. Maybe it's around here, uh, and you know, click on the three dots uh, and turn on live video or live notifications. Uh, that that way you know when we have something cool going on, uh, you'll just be notified uh, right away. And. Uh, what else? So we have here. We've got a we've got a cool setup. Um, uh, obviously, we've got a little surprise here. Uh, I've got uh, a few things in my companion here. Have you guys heard of um, this? Uh, this is the uh, this is the Mi Pad Transformer. You can take a closer look if you want. Um, check that out. So uh, we announced this just a little while back, a few weeks back. Uh, this was a collaboration with Hasbro, the well-known toy company. Um, and actually, uh, it's a Mi Pad that basically becomes this guy. It becomes a, a full-on transformer. Um, the, obviously, I've already uh, put it together, but you can see here you know, the edge of the Mi Pad right there. Um, see there? That's the, you know, so you can sort of recognize that this is actually a Mi Pad at some point, but it actually becomes a transformer. Uh, it used to be in pretty good shape until Donovan came into my office and break, broke it, uh, but that's okay. Uh, Donovan is here, by the way. All right, um, uh, we've got uh, Chewy down here, just keeping us company. Uh, always good to have Chewy uh, around. And well, um, what else? Uh, we've got uh, a couple of Mi Max devices right here. You know, I wanted uh, to be able to see what's happening in the live stream app, both on Facebook Live as well as on um, Xiaomi Jibo. And uh, I needed a big screen device, uh, so that's what I have here. I've got two. Uh, Mi Max. Um, if you want to come take a closer look, you're welcome to do it. You can see, you can see exactly what I'm what I'm looking at over here. Um, see over there, um, and um, there you go. Uh, and uh, what I also have here is I've got a Mi Five to cheer me up because it's just me here by myself. So whenever I feel unloved, I can just go like this. I can hear some applause. Thank you. That, by the way, is your cue to applaud. Uh, I'm very funny today, so I can also go. I, I can just laugh at myself. Hugo, you have 1.2 thousand viewers on Facebook. Um, we have how many? How many? 1.3. Going 1.4 thousand viewers on Facebook Live. 3,000 uh, on Xiaomi. We've got 3,000 on Xiaomi Live. Um, so I think we're almost ready to start here. Um, 
I'll just whip myself a couple of times. There we go. Um, and get ready to start. Uh, any, uh, any burning questions? A anything you really want to know before, before we get started? I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my eyes here on the, on the Xiaomi, uh, on the Facebook Live questions. Has any hashtag me drone? Uh, use hashtag me drone, hashtag me drone on anything that you do. And of course, that'll make your post more visible. Yes, I am wearing Mi Band 2. Uh, Mi Band 2, um, do you want to take a closer look? Uh, you can if you want. So this is Mi Band 2 right here. Uh, it's got a familiar design, but it's actually much more beautiful in my opinion. Also surprise, uh, we have an OLED display. Uh, and it's a touch uh, enabled sensor so I can look at obviously the hour, I can look at number of steps. I can also start heart rate monitoring. It's actually just turned midnight, so it says I've taken zero steps. Uh, I haven't moved since midnight, basically. Um, and uh, it's also a much, um, a much more comfortable uh, 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 strap. Uh, the way it attaches is also, I think, better design. Uh, so this is coming uh, soon to you guys, uh, wherever you are, you'll be able to get Mi Band 2. Uh, let's see, we've got 1.9 thousand. I think when we get 2,000, Viewers on Facebook and probably get started. Share, share the feed. Share. Jack is giving me a cue here. I'm trying to find. Go ahead, Jack. Go ahead. You no, know, share this news feed. Share this live feed. Why don't you guys go ahead and sh hit the share button so that your friends uh, can also tune in and watch the uh, live unboxing of Me Drone. By the way, for those who just joined us, uh, this is Hugo. I'm here at the Xiaomi headquarters in Beijing. Uh, we are live streaming. Live. Can I say live streaming live? I guess you can. All right. Thanks, Jack. Uh, Jack tells me what to do and most importantly, what not to do. Uh, so we are live streaming live from uh, from Beijing. We're on two apps right now. We're on uh, Facebook uh, live right here, and we are on uh, Xiaomi Zhuo also live right here, uh, broadcasting uh, around the world. We have 2.2 thousand viewers on Facebook live, and we have uh, uh, close to 4,000 viewers on. Uh, Xiaomi live stream. And of course, we're here for the live unboxing of our latest product, uh, the Mi Drone. Uh, if you want to see photos of Mi Drone, you can check out my latest post on Facebook. Uh, you can do that later. Right now, just stay right here. Um, and uh, we're going to talk about Mi Drone. Um, I'm just waiting for a signal from Jack before we can get started. Um, do you want to take any questions? Uh, let's see. Any questions, guys? Um, I love Xiaomi. Thank you. We. Definitely love you too. Give a shout out to some of them. Uh, <laughs> Viva is saying just go ahead and open it. Wait up, man. Wait up. Almost there. Uh, uh, let's see. Abdullah is asking, is this a Xiaomi TV on the background? How could I forget? Uh, yes, this is a uh, Mi TV uh, 3 uh, or 3S, I should say. This is the 48-inch uh, model uh, or 55. No, I think this is a 48-inch model. Uh, which is beautiful. It's actually uh, uh, thinner than most phones. Uh, actually, pretty funny. Um, what else? Uh, let's see. Uh, Wolverine. <laughs> did I forget the shape? <laughs> yeah, I did. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, oh no, you mean this guy? <laughs> were you talking about me, or were you talking about this guy? Uh, no, that's uh, me, Bunny. That's Dino Me Bunny. Uh, Dino Me Bunny. Um, in fact. Uh, uh, Dynamy Bunny also has uh, some cute dino shoes, as you can see right here. You can take a closer look. <laughs> so, uh, I, I still don't know if you meant uh, uh, it, it, Dino Me Bunny or if you're talking about me when you said Wolverine. The mystery will, uh, will continue. All right. All right, you have 3,000 viewers on Facebook. Uh, looks like we just hit 3,000 viewers on Facebook. Uh, Jack is telling me here. Um, oh. Uh, thank you, Lejong, for the Porsche. I appreciate that. Say um, uh, the I'm look, looking for questions here. Uh, I'll answer maybe a couple of questions and then we're going to get started. Um, Terry has a, a Dino Me Bunny. Way to go, Terry. That's pretty cool. Uh, how's the battery life on the new B band? Uh, I, have, uh, I have it. Uh, I've had it on my on my wrist for about 30 days now, uh, and I, I haven't had to charge, and I, I haven't even thought about charging. So I think we're doing pretty pretty well with uh, uh, with battery life, uh, just like in the first version. 
Uh, yes, Naveen, this is Mi Band 2, in case you just uh, tuned in as well. Uh, I know you guys are waiting, but it's coming pretty soon. Uh, we are obviously ramping up production so we can make many, many uh, of them. Um, video quality on Facebook, can you guys me, give me a thumbs up? Um, is it okay? Uh, is video quality okay? Can you, can you hear me well? I just wanted to make sure that you guys are, are hearing me okay. So just give me a thumbs up. Uh, Abhishek Sarma is saying, go ahead and open it. <laughs> I will do that in a second. Uh, how much is the Mi Band 2? We'll let you know pretty soon. Uh, uh, Redmi 2 motherboard, uh, we can talk to you later about that. <laughs> uh, Wolverine definitely refers to Hugo. Of course, that has to come from Diana. Uh, Diana's a big friend, uh, so she'll, say, she'll definitely say that. I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, like that. Thanks, Diana. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let's roll. Let's let's get rolling. We have three point six thousand viewers uh, already on Facebook Live, and we are just crossing fifty two hundred viewers on Xiaomi live stream. Okay, well we're here uh, today, guys, to talk about Mi Drone. In case you just joined us, uh, welcome. This is the Xiaomi. Um, uh, this is the Mi Drone live stream unboxing, uh, and you can see it right here. Before unboxing the product, I want to tell you a little bit about it. Uh, this is a beautiful product we've been designing for quite a while. Um, so I'm going to show you some details here on the screen and then we're gonna get, go ahead and talk about the product. Uh, this is what it looks like, by the way. You'll see it live uh, in just a few minutes. Uh, so it's a beautiful, simplistic design. Uh, some people say it looks like a four-legged spider. I don't know what a four-legged spider would look like, but that sounds pretty good. Um, and I'm gonna talk about all details uh, throughout the next uh, half hour or so. I'll talk to you about the propeller, propeller technology. I'll talk to you about battery, battery life. Uh, we'll talk in great detail about the camera. There's a couple of different camera options that we offer, 1080p and 4K. Uh, so we'll talk about all of that uh, in the next few minutes. This is what the drone looks like when it's flying. Uh, it's uh, very, very compact, really, really light uh, also. Uh, in fact, uh, the weight is almost entirely on the battery. Um, we, uh, we thought really carefully about what size battery you were going to include because obviously we wanted to give it super long battery life and at the same time not make it too heavy, especially because you know you got to carry, carry it around, uh, so we don't want it to be too heavy. Um, so uh, let's keep going here. Um, this is another view of, of the drone. Uh, from the bottom, what you start to see here is the different lights. Uh, these are lights that are used for orientation when you're driving the drone so you can see which way uh, it's facing when you're driving forward, for example. I'll show you that in a bit, in a little bit. Uh, this is another view. Uh, this is the propeller. Uh, I'll talk about how we have two different kinds of propellers, uh, four propellers in total. They actually spin in different uh, directions in a way that really balances out the drone, helps with the, uh, with the uh, balance, uh, and it's pretty cool. Uh, really amazing camera technology here, both the camera itself, uh, and I'll talk about the sensor details uh, in a bit, as well as the stabilization technology that we use, uh, which is pretty phenomenal. And you see what that looks like in real life. Uh, the controller, uh, which looks like this, uh, very simple, ergonomically designed. Uh, we use uh, a PCB antenna technology for those of you who are following uh, everything we, we launch. Uh, it's a similar sort of antenna that we use in our latest generation of Mi routers. Uh, this is a PCB antenna that gives you the best possible reach uh, up to two kilometers uh, live streaming of video uh, at 720p, which uh, we'll talk about in a second as well. Uh, so I will give you a demo of the controller uh, in just a few minutes. And of course you can attach your, uh, your smartphone, uh, uh, Android or iOS, right to the controller so that you can obviously see as you're driving, uh, see what the drone is seeing as you're driving as well. And uh, I'll show you a video uh, with uh, uh, loud here. Hey, so here are all the details uh, of the drone. A lot of attention paid to the design, of course. And I'll show you this live. I'll give you a demo in, in just a second. Uh, the, the gimbal that we use for uh, the camera is one of the best pieces of technology that we have on this product. Um, talk to you about all the details, but I just wanted to give you a quick 
sneak preview, just a little flavor uh, of what this looks like. So this is some imagery that's actually captured by uh, the neat drone. You guys can see here, spectacular uh, imagery. Notice how stable it is, how incredibly stable uh, uh, this stuff looks like. Beautiful, right? Obviously, we took it around the world uh, to shoot some beautiful imagery for you guys. All of these videos will be on YouTube uh, as well as on Facebook, so you can take it out and check it out later. Um, I'll point out a few of the features of the remote, uh, and then I will also show those to you live uh, when I do a, a quick demo of just showing the different pieces. Um, right here is a takeoff and landing button. So uh, you just press that button, it'll take off to four meters, and then hover at four meters, uh, and then you can decide what to do from there. And of course, if you press that button when it's hovering, it'll land straight down, uh, obviously slowly uh, from whatever position it's in. So that's the takeoff and landing button. And you can see here uh, a video that shows uh, that in action. Um, so a quick takeoff, uh, it'll go up and hover, and then of course you can drive it from there, uh, press it again, uh, and the drone will land. Um, uh, there's another uh, control up here. You have two modes, two modes of operation. One is just regular manual flying, uh, and then you have a go home button. Basically, you just slide this button to the right. Uh, it sticks. It, it's not, it may look like, a, like a, a, an elastic button, but it sticks. So you move it to the right, and then that'll just drive the, start driving the uh, me drone home. Of course, you can at any time just slide it back and continue driving yourself. If it's gone too far away from you and, and you're like, oh my God, I want to bring it back or at least bring it closer to me, just say go home. And then you can interrupt it halfway through and, it'll, you know, and then you can drive it again uh, if you want. Uh, so, uh, you know, look, just showing how, the, how precise the home button uh, or the home feature is. One of the interesting things about this drone is that uh, we have three methods for positioning. We want to make sure that people know that the drone knows exactly where it is. So we're using GPS, we're using GLONASS, and we're also using an assistive mode when a GPS or GLONASS isn't available. It actually uses vision. It uses a separate camera uh, to help the drone locate itself. I'll show you that live in a bit. But watch this demo here. Uh, the drone took off from a very small platform, which was actually just a box for the product, uh, and it's going to land back in the same spot. Uh, so that's what you're seeing right here on this video. It'll just come back, obviously slowly, to the exact same spot where it took off from. Um, there it is, so it looks pretty awesome. A couple of other interesting options uh, on Me Drone is autopilot. We've actually built uh, a few different autopilot options uh, just to make it easier for you to get what you want to do you want with, uh, with your drone. So for example, you could choose a point on a map and say drive there and uh, your meat drone is gonna drive over there. It might have to cross a little bit of ocean to get to the tip of that island, for example, um, but that's a cool feature. So you can basically put it anywhere without necessarily having to go there yourself. And with much higher precision, of course, than your visual acuity, because you're talking about high precision uh, GPS based on map. Uh, another really cool autopilot feature is uh, basically tracing a path. This is a waypoint-based uh, approach to telling the drone where to go. You guys may remember, you know, old school flight simulators where you'd have to complete waypoint based missions, fly here, then fly there, then fly there. So that's exactly what you do as well in this autopilot function. You set the waypoints and then me drone is gonna drive or fly, I should say, from one waypoint to the next um, and uh, basically go through the path that you've traced for you. You can do this, for example, if you're making a home movie and you wanna make sure that it captures, you know, particular scenes uh, it'll do it beautifully. It'll drive itself beautifully. And then all you have to do is point the camera, right? So think about uh, an autopilot where you tell the drone exactly where to go. Uh, and then it's essentially like there's a helicopter pilot flying exactly where you want. And all you have to focus on is the camera. I'll show you the separate controls for the camera uh, on the remote. So basically it gives you like amazing cinematography, uh, aerial cinematography, um, basically right in your hands. Uh, another cool feature that we thought was pretty interesting, uh, also for uh, those of us with cinematography uh, aspirations, 
is a simple feature that just circles around a particular point. Uh, of course, it would be an object or, or, a, or a house or a tree or a group of people or whatever it might be, and you can do that from any, you know, from any height. So it can be you know, just literally above your heads and it's showing a bunch of people, for example, that are playing or having fun or posing for a photo. Uh, or you can do it around a volcano, for example, at a much higher altitude. Uh, but basically, you tell the point at which you want it to hover around, you set the altitude, and you say what the diameter of the circle should be. Right? So it can be a tight circle, of maybe 5, 10 meters, or it can be you know, 200 meters, 500 meters, uh, and it'll just do a beautiful sort of continuous hover around the point. And then what you can do then at that point also is just control where the camera is facing. If you do nothing, the camera will just stay focused in the center of that path. Right? So you're essentially looking at something uh, uh, from all of its sides and you're sort of smoothly moving around it and just kind of watching that from different angles. Um, so those are uh, the autopilot functions that we've designed uh, into Mi Drone. One of the things I talked about earlier was the size of the battery. Um, you know, like I said, we've designed a very, very lightweight machine uh, and uh, it's so light that two thirds of the weight, two thirds of the weight, uh, it is actually the battery. Uh, we are packing a, a 5100 milliamp power uh, battery, 17.4 uh, 7 volts. Obviously, so it's a much higher power uh, battery than, um, uh, than a, a cell phone battery, but of course the capacity is similar, for example, to that of, uh, of a Xiaomi Max, of a Mi Max. Uh, but it's a higher power, meaning it can deliver power at a faster rate because it's a 17.4 volt battery as compared to you know 4.4, 4.5 volt batteries on cell phones. Um, I'll show you how the battery looks, how you take it in, how you, uh, how you take it out, how you put it back in, how you charge it uh, when we do the unboxing in just a second. Uh, we made it really light by essentially making the body, the, the skin, if you will, and the skeleton as thin as possible. Uh, so it's only just over one millimeter, it's very, very thin. Uh, and we'll talk about the, the propeller, uh, or airfoil as we call it, uh, which has a uh, pretty uh, awesome uh, th design as well. And I'll talk to you about how we have two different propeller shapes uh, to help with the stabilization system. Uh, quick pause here, I wanna welcome those of you who have just joined. Uh, this is the Mi Drone unboxing live stream. We're live here from uh, Xiaomi headquarters in Beijing and we're streaming live uh, simultaneously to Facebook. Uh, we've got 4.4 uh, thousand viewers on Facebook. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Share for you. I know, I'm funny. Um, right. Okay, with me, with me to share. All right, and um, if you're on Facebook, uh, you should definitely share this live stream with your friends so that they know that this is happening right now. Of course, they can watch it later, but it's much better to watch it live, right? Or they can uh, leave a question. And uh, also, please put in your questions. Uh, I'll be looking for questions as we go here. Uh, primarily, as I'm doing the unboxing, I really want to hear what you guys want to learn about and then we can deep dive that way. So now, four and a half thousand viewers on Facebook. We're also uh, live streaming on the Xiaomi Live app. and we. Are, uh, we are just about to cross 8,000 8, viewers on the Xiaomi Live app. Um, so thank you guys, uh, thank you guys for being here. Uh, all right, so I'll talk about the, uh, the uh, gimbal now. So we have this really awesome ultralight uh, gimbal camera, uh, which is designed to, uh, first of all, be very, very stable, uh, so that anything you're doing, it doesn't matter how much wind there is at the time, your, uh, your videos, your photos are gonna look very stable, uh, no blur, no shake, and so on. Uh, and uh, the second thing that it does is it also stays focused. Uh, it, it's very important, uh, for example, if you're filming something and you're trying to focus on a particular point, it's very important for the you know, camera to stay focused on that. Uh, so we've designed this gimbal kind of like a mini Steadicam. If you guys are into you know, movie making films, uh, it's kind of like a mini Steadicam that stays uh, stable and it stays pointed uh, in the same direction. And I'll give you a live demo of that uh, in a bit as well. Uh, the gimbal itself uh, is extra extraordinary high-end technology. Uh, it uses a carbon fiber 
and polycarbon structure, so it's designed to be very light, even though there's quite a bit of technology in there. We have 14 circuit boards. Uh, this is in the, uh, in the gimbal assembly alone. Um, and uh, three motors, right? So these are motors that uh, keep this 3D gimbal essentially in place. Uh, plus uh, this uh, interesting kind of foamy support foundation that prevents it from vibrating. It basically absorbs uh, vibration uh, of many, many different frequencies to keep everything stable. Uh, obviously you have four motors on this thing. So this, you know, this, this device of course vibrates like crazy, but you don't want any of that vibration to pass on uh, to the filming that you're doing. Uh, and that's why we've designed the gimbal uh, in this manner. Uh, all right, let's keep going here. Uh, we have a couple of different options. Uh, one of them is a 4K Ultra HD camera. Um, and so that's a 12.4 megapixel, a Sony a BSI sensor, uh, six piece lens. This all sounds very familiar, right? We're talking about the, the same type of high end camera technology that we put on our flagship smartphones. You've heard me talking about six piece lens many times before. Um, and um, it has a very, very wide angle, 104 degrees, uh, obviously so that you can capture as much as possible. Uh, more than 104 degrees uh, angle would start to make things look a bit distorted, a bit too fish eye like. So, you know, 100 degrees is essentially the, the maximum that you would go so that you get natural images and yet a, a wide enough angle. Uh, and you can also shoot in raw, so you can get raw images uh, out of this camera in the same way that you would out of a professional, you know, DSLR type camera. Uh, and then uh, you can bring that right into, you know, Lightroom um, or uh, photos uh, or whatever aperture, whatever you use for photo processing uh, and you've got your raw images uh, in there. Uh, okay. Uh, another cool thing is that uh, because of this PCB antenna that I mentioned to you earlier, very long range, you can get live 720p video uh, with almost no latency, really high quality, up to two kilometers away. Uh, so up to two kilometers away. Uh, so it works uh, extraordinarily well. Uh, let's see. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, I've mentioned to you guys this, uh, this gimbal technology. The idea here is that even though the drone might be moving around, vibrating, or moving in multiple different axes, the camera should stay put. Right? That's the idea here. Almost as if you were operating a steady cam. Um, the, uh, the accuracy in terms of responding to movement is very, very quick. You basically can quickly respond uh, and almost change, almost not change the angle. We'll talk about plus or minus 0.02 degree accuracy um, in, uh, in terms of in response to movement, whether it's uh, slow movement or kind of sudden fast movement. Uh, three axis uh, gimbal. Uh, and this is what it looks like. Uh, it basically folds away, uh, so it essentially becomes a flat surface. This could probably be sold at Ikea as a very thin box if they decided to sell it because everything can become very, very flat. Um, you guys don't like my jokes? I like my jokes. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I like your jokes. <laughs> uh, so this is what it looks like when, when it's, it's uh, disassembled. Um, let me go through uh, all of these components here. Uh, so starting on, the, on your left side here, this is the, uh, the controller, uh, and I'll talk about that later. The propellers, uh, there's uh, basically uh, four different propellers. You can see that they're different colors. I'll explain that why in just a bit. Uh, this is the main body of the drone with the landing gear open, so it's essentially kind of opens up. Think about, you know, an old dog who's just very, very tired, it, you know, just kind of just goes like that. That's what the drone looks like. You don't like my jokes? <laughs> 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 old dog? Old dog. Old dog. Okay. It goes like this. <laughs> I don't have an old thanks, dog. Thanks, thanks. I don't know. Um, this little guy here, which I'll mention to you in a second, is actually a very important piece of technology. This is a vision-based location system. It's primarily used when you're indoors, when you have zero GPS, which means, by the way, that you don't even know how high you are. Uh, if you're indoors, if you're under, I don't know, tree covers, and you've got no GPS signal, this little piece uh, is what gives vision-based uh, uh, positioning so that you can still drive safely, land automatically, also when you're indoors. 
uh, the gimbal, which I've talked about, and the charger, which I'll show you. All of this uh, is in the box. Uh, and it fits pretty nicely even in a regular backpack, which I'll show you as well. The simple idea here is if you travel anywhere with it, you don't need a special case, you don't need to check it in, uh, you can just carry it with you, uh, and it's pretty easy. Uh, I'll, I'll demo how the uh, built-in phone holder works uh, for this particular drone. And um, Drone also comes with propeller guards. The idea here is when you're starting, if this is the first drone that you've ever used, uh, or if you're in an environment that's perhaps not as spacious, maybe in a warehouse or indoor somewhere, uh, put on the propeller guards, I'll show that to you later. That makes uh, uh, it such that it's a lot more difficult to damage uh, your drone, and uh, it, uh, you, you don't lose uh, really anything on stability or speed or anything like that, uh, but it gives you just a little bit more protection uh, when you're flying. Uh, another cool feature is that uh, if, uh, if the remote disconnects, basically if you've gone too far, uh, it will basically return home automatically, or at least return closer to you such that uh, you're back in control once again. Uh, so it's, it's, also, it's always making sure that it's, it's a, in a safe situation. Uh, by the way, uh, the location tracking works even if, for whatever reason, uh, you cause it to crash. Uh, even if you crash it, you'll still be able to retrieve it, of course, uh, by uh, the fact that it'll be telling uh, the remote, it'll be telling the app uh, where it crashed and you can just get to it. Um, if, uh, if, you, if you've been flying it a lot and you're not really keeping track of the battery and it hits a critical battery situation, it always knows how much battery it needs to go back home uh, so it, it, or to go back to where it started. So if it's gone very far and it realizes that it may not have enough battery to come back, then it'll just go into automatic home run. It'll just run back home automatically and land before it runs out of battery, which of course wouldn't be a pretty scene. Um, and yeah, this is the summary. I'll come back to it later. We're gonna talk about pricing as well. Um, and uh, I'm pretty excited to talk to you guys about this product. Uh, maybe I should go back here to the first page. There you go. Now, um, let's see, we are approaching 5,000 viewers on, on Facebook and we, are, we just crossed 7,000 viewers on the Xiaomi Live app. Uh, if you're joining us now, welcome. Uh, this is the live unboxing of the Mi Drone, which we just announced today. Uh, this is Hugo, I'm here in the Xiaomi headquarters in Beijing. And uh, looks like I'm all by myself, but I'm actually not. I've got a huge crew right here. <laughs> and we're broadcasting live on Facebook and on the Xiaomi Live app. Um, all right, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna get started with the unboxing. But before that, uh, you might be asking the question, you know, why did we decide to build a drone? Why? You guys make phones, you make TVs, but a drone? Um, yeah, well, Xiaomi exists uh, as a company that loves to make awesome technology available to anyone. And drone is a really good example of a product that many people might say, I'm sure you guys or many of you will agree, is typically an expensive product for rich people. Um, that's the reality. If you wanna buy a really, really good high-end drone, if you're into professional you know, uh, cinematography, if you want high quality movies and uh, stills and so on, you're gonna have to pay a lot of money um, for your drone. But we decided that um, uh, this is an area that we wanted to tackle. We thought we could make the same kind of high-end technology with a lot of new features available uh, for a much more affordable price. You know, the other thing that I also have heard a lot about people who have drones is that they're, they're, hard, to, they're hard to drive. Uh, you, you have to train yourself a lot, you really have to think about orientation. Oh, now the drone is driving back at me the different way, so right becomes left, you know, stuff like that. Um, we really wanted to make it easier, which is why we built some of these autopilot functions that I told you guys about uh, just here now, and I'll repeat uh, again to those who have just joined. Um, and also, it needs to be easy to carry. None of this, left, you know, buy a new, a new backpack, a new case, just for the drone. When you travel, you have to check it in because it's too big to carry on board. No, we want it to be portable so that you can really carry it everywhere. Um, I'm going to pause for a second to turn on the air AC because it's really hot. Uh, it's really hot. Okay. Okay. 
So should we start unboxing? What do you guys say? We're at 5.3 thousand uh, viewers on Facebook and we have almost 8,000 on the Xiaomi Live app. You should see the comments to see whether they want you to unbox it now. Uh, Sivan <laughs> is saying, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Open the box. Ari is saying, too long for play. Oh. <laughs> Nui is saying, open the box. The Dashing is saying, come on. Okay, all right, all right, all right, fine. I think I got, I think I got it. Um, okay, so. Okay, open, 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 open. Really, that's open. All right. Hit the love button. All right. So let's take a look here, guys. Uh, why don't you come close? Um, so this is what um, we're talking about here. This is the Mi drone. You're taking an exclusive uh, first look at it. And uh, first of all, I'm going to take out the gimbal, which is right here. It usually comes uh, neatly packed in a separate box, uh, but this is a sort of, sort of prototype unit here. Um, so uh, I'm going to take everything out neatly and I'm going to set it here on the table. So first of all, uh, let's take out these covers. Uh, these are uh, uh, sort of soft covers that protect uh, the, the motors here or the rotors. Uh, this is called a rotor, not a motor. All right, I'm going to put that here and take this out. Put it down here so that I'm not making a mess. And I'm gonna take out the uh, controller, uh, which we'll look at in a bit as well. Uh, I'll show this to you in a second. Okay, uh, what else do we have here? Um, so this is the battery, uh, and we'll talk about this in detail in just a second. Uh, along, of course, uh, with the battery charger, which is right here, uh, including the charger cable. And of course, what are we missing? What are we missing, guys? What are we missing? Uh, we're missing the propellers. So the propellers are right here. Uh, and I'll put that neatly on the desk here in just a second. Two, and Two sets. Uh, we have two sets of propellers. I'm gonna take only one set out. Uh, and these are the propeller guards, uh, or shields as I like to call them. Uh, and Nayu is gonna take these. Okay, now why don't we just make this neat, shall we? Um, so we've got two propellers here. We've got these guy. Uh, another two propellers right here. That's the controller. That's the battery. Let's have the battery closer here. Battery and charger. Let's keep them close together. Um, that's the controller, and this is the magic gimbal. Open this if we want as well. All right, check this out. Shall we take a photo? This looks pretty good. Let's take a photo. What do you guys think? Danny, you want to take a photo? Yeah. One, two, three. Okay, one more. Too bright. Yeah, you're showing bright like a diamond. You got one of these. You go check out the number of love on your Facebook. Pretty cool, right? All right, all right, all right. Um, wow, we're approaching six seven thousand, six point six thousand uh, live viewers on Facebook. Guys, if you're just joining us, uh, this is Hugo, and you are here for the Me Drone live unboxing. Um, live here on Facebook. I've introduced the product to everyone who's watching and I've just started the unboxing as you can see here and now we're gonna put it together. Um, so thank you guys for joining and I'll be looking for your questions as we go here as well. Um, okay, so um, uh, what should we do first? Uh, Jack, should we do propellers to start? Yeah, just prop up the stand. Yeah. Okay, so um, this is what it looks like when you take it out of the box. You can see that it's very, very thin. I make the joke that Silly didn't like earlier that IKEA could sell this product because it's, so, uh, it's so flat. Uh, well, we're gonna make it stand up right here. So what you do is we just release um, the legs uh, and it's basically the landing gear and it's locked into place. Uh, if I wanna uh, basically put it back up, basically just slide this little guy, um, 
slide this little guy here. Sorry. Up. Mm. Uh, yeah, just push in front. Just push oh. it. In, in front. Oh, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Um, can't be too delicate with these things. Um, yeah. And uh, just push it this way. And you can make it go back up. Right? So we're going to keep the linen geared out because we're going to be uh, assembling this guy. So uh, I'm going to start with the propellers. Is that right? Yep. What you guys will notice here is red and then silver and then red and then silver. Now, here's the idea. Um, this is a bit too complicated for me to know exactly how to explain, but it's roughly uh, that by having uh, rotors that are spinning in different directions, so two spinning one way, like this, and then two spinning the other direction, um, you are going to give uh, this device a little more stability. If you had the rotors all going in the same direction, uh, it's something about angular momentum um, that I don't know how to explain anymore, but I used to be able to. Um, uh, Donovan can probably do a better job, at, far better job at me than this. Uh, uh, but it basically gives you more stability. Uh, so uh, then you're going to match red to red, red to red. And when you look here uh, on the propeller, it will tell you in which direction uh, that you're going to attach it. So basically, you just put it on, you give it a whirl. Now, you don't have to worry too much about tightening it uh, because as it turns on, uh, it will tighten itself automatically just by the virtue of the fact that it's spinning. Um, so I'm going to put that one on. Uh, this one I should attach with a clockwise movement. Um, so that's done. Uh, looks pretty well attached. Uh, then I'm going to do the other, uh, this is the other gray or silver here. So that's attached as well. And this is the other red, uh, which attaches counterclockwise. So we do that here. Okay. So uh, I've got the propellers attached, just double checking that they're uh, in a good place here. Uh, okay, so this is what it looks like with the propellers attached. There you go. And a little bit of applause. Okay. Good job. Now uh, you're looking straight into the valley here. Uh, obviously that's where the battery goes. Uh, and here is the battery. Um, maybe I'll say a, a few words about the battery. Um, this is actually a pretty heavy battery. It's 5,000 milliamp hours, uh, and this is a 17.4 volt battery, as I said earlier. Uh, it is about the same capacity uh, in terms of, uh, sort of total stored energy, uh, but a much higher uh, power throughput than what you'd expect, obviously, to find on a phone. Um, so at the end of the day, you obviously can drive a lot more uh, with a 17.4 volt battery compared to a 4.4 volt battery, which is what you find on the phone. Um, and um, this, uh, this battery uh, uh, is, is about two thirds of the combined weight of the entire product, right? So this is extraordinarily light. Uh, I can feel right here that this is lighter than this. In fact, this feels like about half the weight of this, which is, in fact, uh, just about right. The battery comes in and out very easily, um, so I'm going to attach it uh, right here. So it's attached, and if I want to take it off, you'll see here uh, we've got a kind of a fast release mechanism, so I can just I can hold it like this, press that button, and it just comes straight out. Right, so it's very easy to swap uh, batteries, uh, and uh, the charger is right here. Uh, so it's a, it's a much larger charger, of course, than a phone charger. Uh, what you do is you just snap this out, snap this little cover out. You see the two contact pins over there. Uh, you see the contact pins on either side of the battery here. There's one on this side right here. There's one on this side. Uh, all you gotta do is just connect it like this. Um, connect the charger and you're charging your battery. So pretty easy to do. Um, there you go. So I'm gonna put the battery back in here. And uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach uh, the gimbal. So I'm going to maybe put it like this. Um, and it's safe, for, it's safe for your meat drone to basically lie on its back. Um, it's designed such that you have a pretty good position to attach the gimbal. Um, so this is the gimbal right here. Uh, we're going to connect it. Um, so basically, I put it in here. I have a slide lock mechanism into place right there. Uh, it's now secure and turn it out. 
and there it is. Um, what's interesting here that you'll see is this mechanism that's using the sort of rubbery foundation. This is a uh, essentially what makes it uh, vibrate a lot less. Uh, it, 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 it absorbs the vibration of the rotors of the engines uh, up above. Okay, um, Jack, what should we do next? Do you want to show the lights or should we show the controller first? Power it on. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna power it on. Now, if you guys have uh, tried drones in the past, uh, it's important to have a safety mechanism for powering on and for powering off. You don't want to accidentally power it on or power it off. So the way to turn it on, and it's always gonna be like this, you're gonna use a two-step process. You tap quickly and then you tap and hold. Uh, and that will turn it on. You could see the lights growing here. That's the signal that it's on. And then you'll see right away the lights right here. Now, what do these lights mean? Uh, basically, these are orientation lights. Um, when it's flying, basically it's flying away from you like this. Uh, left is always gonna be red. Uh, right is always gonna be green. And the other lights basically don't really matter. Front. Um, they will tell you which is the front. Of course, they tell you which is the front and they, uh, they glow, right? So they uh, you make it look like you have a proper, uh, proper uh, air vehicle here. Uh, and uh, the idea is, of course, so that you know when you're driving um, in which direction it's facing uh, and it becomes easy for you. Um, what you see here, too, um, this is the gimbal. And I talked to you about how it stabilizes automatically later. Um, the idea is that it wants to essentially be pointing in the same direction. So no matter what you do, uh, it's always going to be roughly pointing in the same way. See how, how that, it's pretty cool, right? Uh, it doesn't matter in which direction I turn, it's always going to try and stay pointing in the same direction. And so that's the stabilizer. It's kind of like a steady cam. If you guys are into films, uh, it's basically like a steady cam. Uh, so that's the, that's the gimbal right there. Okay, so I'm gonna let it rest here for a bit. Um, uh, should we uh, talk about this now or later? Uh, you can you can talk about that. Okay. This is what it looks like. Okay, so um, uh, of course when you're starting to fly this drone, uh, if uh, if you're sort of new to this kind of technology, we strongly recommend uh, rather than flying with sort of open propellers like this, uh, you you sh you should attach uh, these uh, what we call uh, propeller guards. So basically they attach right here at the bottom. You basically have to take out a couple of uh, screwdrivers uh, and you attach them on, on all the four sides. By the way, we actually um, ship um, the Mi drone uh, with uh, these, uh, with, with uh, the, proper, uh, the proper tools. Um, so it's a nice little screwdriver right here. Um, so you have exactly what you need. This is a non-standard, uh, well, somewhat standard, but it's neither a flat nor a Phillips. Uh, it's, non -magnetic a, it's a non-magnetic um, uh, screwdriver that you can use to attach the propeller guards. And when you attach them, uh, thank you, Celine, uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, actually, it looks pretty cool, pretty badass in my opinion. Um, you can take a photo if you want, Danny. Um, and so this is what it looks like with the propeller guards on. Um, here, here, here. All right. Cool. All right. So Why don't you post one for Facebook Live so they can do a screenshot? You guys want to do a screenshot? <laughs> screenshot. Alright, screenshot, screenshot, screenshot. Screenshot and paste in the comments. Take a screenshot and post in the, car. In the comments. It's pretty cool, right? Pretty meta. Yeah. Will I see the screenshots here? I later. I will, right? I will, I will see them later. You'll see them later. I see. I see. Cool, cool. Alright, cool. Uh, let me give this back to you guys. Uh, Alright, so now we're going to turn to the... Uh, <laughs> now we are going to turn to the remote control, the controller. Um, okay, so here it is. Uh, so this is the, uh, the controller for me drone, and there's quite a few things that I, I'll mention to you here. Um, Looks like the Hi, buddy. Okay. Looks like me bunny. That, yeah, me bunny is uh, pretty well tuned in here. Uh, okay, so this is the, uh, this is the controller. Uh, 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 you know, aer aer ergonomic design. Um, it uh, kind of fits nicely in your hands. It's got a rubber, rubbery track here uh, in the back. Uh, make sure that it stays stable. It doesn't slip out. Um, the first thing I pointed out earlier was this uh, PCB uh, antenna. So this is the same type of antenna technology that we use in our uh, highest end Xiaomi routers. This will basically give you the, the longest possible range. And when you're flying 
uh, your drone basically you want to position the antenna sort of like this uh, that will give you the best uh, flying range um, uh, what else you can attach your phone right here so basically you pull this up uh, you can see that little flap comes out to hold it in place uh, and then you can put uh, a phone of pretty much any size here uh, so that you can see the live video uh, as you're shooting. I'll just push this down uh, and show you the rest. Um, sure, just put in a phone. Yeah, okay. Oh, there you go. So uh, put it right here and um, I'll slap my Mi 5 uh, over here. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, you do not need two people uh, if you do this by yourself. Uh, and there it is. Right, so it works pretty well. Uh, take it out pretty easily, and just push it. Just push that just flap push in, yeah. and push it out. Okay. Now let me show you the the buttons. Let's talk about the buttons here. Um, so the way, uh, like I said, like I showed you earlier for powering on the drone, same safety mechanism applies to the remote controller. The last thing you want is for the remote controller to accidentally turn off. Uh, while you're flying, for example, uh, or to accidentally turn on, we do, do not want to fly. So, same mechanism applies. You tap once and then you hold. Uh, and that will turn it on. Except it didn't. Um, let's try that again. There you go. So, that just turned it on. You can see the lights here. Uh, what do these buttons do? Uh, power button. Uh, this is a takeoff and landing button. So, it'll take off to a um, a hovering altitude of four meters when you hit it once uh, and then if you hit it again when it's uh, flying it'll just uh, land nicely down uh, on top of wherever, wherever it is when you press that button. Uh, up here is the flying mode so you've got two flying modes you've got the manual regular flying mode uh, which is also how you're going to do autopilot functions or you can go to this mode right here it's a toggle that's the home uh, flying as you can see basically this means the drone will start flying back to the exact place from where it took off and it will land in the exact place from where it took off. Now the interesting thing is as it's flying home you can drive it as well. You can sort of take over. The idea is uh, maybe the drone went too far away from you, you want to bring it back but rather than figure out how to bring it back by yourself you just switch back to home flying mode uh, and then you can bring it back and obviously uh, take it over again or go back to manual flying mode, it's really easy to do. Uh, the controllers are as you would expect. Uh, here you go up and down, uh, and you can also turn, uh, and this is the uh, sort of latitudinal uh, uh, navigation. So you go forward, you go back, you go left, you go right. Essentially, you do this, right? So with this guy here, you do this and this. With this guy here, you do this, essentially. And then lastly, there's a little attachment here uh, if you want to wear uh, the controller, you can just wear the controller um, with a strap by attaching it here uh, pretty securely. Uh, other couple things that I would mention to you. Uh, first of all, um, uh, are these two buttons right here, or these two controls right here. Uh, this guy, as well as this guy here. Uh, these are your camera buttons. So this is how you're going to control camera movement. Um, basically up and down, and from one side to the next. Uh, that's how you control the camera. Uh, and then down here, you've got two buttons, one for video uh, and one for uh, photo. For photo. Uh, actually, can't remember which one is which. Yeah. Uh, but they, they have a different texture, so you will always know which one is which. One for photo, one for video. Uh, and like I said earlier, uh, with the 4K camera, you can capture not only 4K video, but you can also capture 12 megapixel uh, stills uh, in uh, raw format so you can get raw format imagery out of your me drone uh, with the with the 4k uh, gimbal uh, which means you can bring it straight into lightroom aperture whatever it might be and uh, you, you know do it as you would if you had taken that photo uh, on a dslr camera uh, so i'm going to turn this guy off same procedure as before tap quick and then tap hold um, so that turns it off and i'll put it down here okay um so um I'll talk a little bit about the, the gimbal just one more time, uh, which you guys can see here. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it will try to face in the same direction no matter what I do. It's kind of like a steady cam. Pretty cool, right? Uh, and if I sort of am a little bit more aggressive in how I do this, it will always try to face the same direction. Um, so uh, this uh, uh, comes in two options for the camera, a 4K option and a 1080p option. You're looking at the 4K model here. Uh, it's a Sony 
uh, it's a Sony sensor, 12.4 uh, megapixel uh, for the 4K camera. Uh, and it is, uh, is it 14 or 16? Ceiling for the, uh, oh, ceiling is not here. Uh, for the uh, for the 1080p camera, in any case, it's a little bit higher resolution for the 1080p camera, um, and uh, it's got a, 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 a you can see a semi-spherical lens here. The, this gives you about 104 um, degrees uh, of wide angle. 104 is wide enough to give you a good image without any distortion, uh, since you don't really want a fisheye type experience with this lens. Uh, and uh, what else? You've got uh, basically three motors here that are essentially the thing that makes the camera stay uh, stable like this. Uh, and this, the structure of this uh, gimbal is a combination of carbon fiber and polycarbonate. Polycarbonate, by the way, is a fancy word for plastic. Uh, but uh, carbon fiber <laughs> and polycarbonate uh, combination. It's a pretty high-end piece of technology. We have 14 circuit boards in here. Uh, and uh, all of it obviously is, is packed pretty closely together, but this is pretty high-end uh, piece of technology here. We wanted uh, the best possible camera that one can put uh, on me drone so that you get the best images out of it. All right, what do you guys think so far? You just crossed 8.6 thousand viewers on Facebook Eight, Live. I see 8.8 thousand here now. 8.8. Um, .8. Why don't you guys ask some questions? Uh, I'll, I'm gonna take some questions here, then we're gonna keep going with the demo. Uh, what happens if flying and battery gets over? Um, that question came from uh, Borzine. What happens if it's flying and the battery and gets over? Will it fall from the sky or land safely? Uh, funny you ask, uh, because, and I will, let me like your comment, Borzine, first of all. Thank you for asking that question. Uh, what? It will, the app will just prompt you that it's low battery and advise you to bring it back. All right, <laughs> I have no idea what you guys are talking about. But anyways, um, what, uh, what happens is uh, the, uh, the drone is, the me drone is always keeping track of um, uh, how much battery it has left and how far away it is from quote unquote home. Home is where it took off from. Uh, so if it goes uh, beyond the point at which uh, it would run, basically would not have enough battery to come back home, it basically turns around to come back, comes back, right? So it knows when it doesn't have more uh, uh, to sufficient battery and it will come back and land before it quote unquote falls from the sky. Uh, let's see what other questions you guys have here. Um, all right, uh, uh, let's see. Hmm. What other questions do you guys have? Can you fly to the moon? <laughs> well, uh, this uh, new drone requires an atmosphere um, because it essentially is using uh, you know, mechanical lift, uh, which is why it has propellers. Uh, if you uh, if you needed if you wanted to go to the moon, we'd have to add uh, jet propulsion uh, to it, which uh, we're not quite there yet. So it cannot quite fly to the moon yet, but you can go pretty high. Uh, when it runs out of battery, will it stop recording video? Uh, it will always calculate the amount of battery needed to come back home without stopping the recording, right? So that's how it works. Uh, the range of, of the drone, uh, range of the drone, um, 2K and 4K. Uh, we would recommend you stay within two kilometers, uh, uh, obviously because that's the range, uh, the maximum range from which you can stream live video. Um, so that's what we would recommend, uh, so to try to stay within two kilometers, which by the way is pretty far. Uh, that's for the 4K, uh, two kilometers for the 4K, and then one kilometer uh, for the other model, for the 1080p model. Also, it depends uh, better if you're flying in the city or out in the open. And, uh, and of course, depends on the kind of environment that you're flying in as well, as Jack just pointed out. Autopilot, uh, Jack is asking about autopilot. Um, uh, do we have autopilot functions? We have several different autopilot functions, which I mentioned earlier. I'll talk about these quickly. Uh, so the first autopilot mode is uh, choose a point on a map. So you can say fly to this particular location uh, and you take off, you say autopilot and it will fly straight to that location uh, and, uh, and you know, it'll get there. That's uh, autopilot mode number one. Autopilot mode number two is a flight path or a waypoint based autopilot. You choose different points uh, on a map and it will essentially go from one point to the next. It'll basically sort of fulfill that path that you've created for it. And the idea here is 
to maybe visit a few different points that you want to you want to film. Um, so, for example, you you want to show you want to show a a resort and you want to show this pool and that part of the resort and that beach and that you know the area. Uh, and what's cool when you're doing this, uh, if the drone is flying autopilot, it exactly knows where to go. So you don't need to worry about flying it. You don't need to worry about driving. Uh, then what you can do is you can just control the camera, right? So you can essentially just be a cinematographer flying a helicopter, essentially is what it looks like. So you just basically control the camera so you can control where it's pointed uh, and the drone will just fly its path for you. That's autopilot mode number two, which is waypoint flight path. The third uh, autopilot mode uh, is what's, uh, what we call circle around. So you pick, up, you pick a point, an object, it could be, you know, it could be a tree, it could be a building, it could be a group of people, and you say just circle around that group. Just go around that group uh, and uh, the camera stays pointed at the center, but of course you can move it around as well. You specify the altitude and you specify the diameter uh, of that circle. It could be a few meters or it could be you know, a few hundred meters. Uh, so you could be circling around maybe a group of people, for example, who are taking a photo or celebrating or having dinner outdoors or whatever it might be. Or you could circle around a volcano crater, right, which is much, much bigger, um, and film that and, and get all this beautiful footage. So that's autopilot. Uh, it can come back home uh, automatically as well. Uh, this is the home mode that I showed to you guys earlier. You just slide into home mode and it'll come back home. That's kind of an autopilot as well. Uh, let's see. Um, other questions? How long is the flight? How long can you fly for? Uh, good question. Uh, the Mi drone uh, will fly for up to 27 minutes on a single battery charge, right? So almost half an hour of continuous uh, non-stop flying time. Somebody asked if the resolution recorder is what you see on the phone. Uh, the uh, resolution recorder is what you see on the phone. Well, uh, it won't be if you're recording 4K video, of course. And in fact, even if you're recording 1080p video, what you'll see on the phone live is 720p video. And then, of course, you'll extract the high resolution video from, from, the, uh, from the device after the fact. Um, uh, looks like the video on Facebook has a problem. Um, are you still seeing? If you you guys want to take a look at it here? I'm just getting a spin. Okay. It's, it's yeah. Going it's okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. So it's right. just an issue with the phone here. No, no problems. Um, oh, this is an interesting question. Can we add me power banks and increase the flight time? <laughs> that is a good idea. Uh, I'm afraid it probably won't be uh, won't work too well. First of all, because uh, the power banks will not uh, have a, a an energy throughput uh, that this uh, this product would need. And also, you're going to increase the weight uh, of the device, which is uh, potentially not a great idea. But you can always get extra batteries. Uh, but you can always, exactly as Jack just said, you can always buy extra batteries, uh, and you can have a couple of batteries with you. So you could easily, you know, carry two or three, four batteries with you, and you can have, you know, almost a couple of hours of continuous, uh, continuous recording capability. Of course, you just have to bring your Mi drone back, uh, and then um, and then uh, swap the battery. Um, too much of hand wave. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'll try not to wave my hands. Put in your pockets. Uh, yeah, I'll put yeah. Someone asked about micro SD storage. Uh, micro SD storage. 8 gig to 64 gig plus 10. There you go. So you can have a, an SD card of up to 64 gigs, uh, class 10 uh, SD card, which will give you very fast transfer speed. Uh, class 10, because you need to be able to store very quickly since you're shooting potentially at 4K, uh, 4K resolution. Uh, somebody is asking uh, about the, uh, the, controller, uh, the controller battery. Um, so the controller battery is actually built in, uh, and the controller uh, is something that you'll charge. So what you have here uh, is a uh, power. This is power, so this is how you charge uh, the controller. Uh, and this is essentially a USB output. Um, uh, and I don't actually know what the USB output is for. Do you guys know what the USB output is for? Oh, yeah, to connect it to the phone. To connect it to the phone, yeah. I see. Because the connection to the phone is tethered. Is tethered, yeah. So, um, yeah, this is probably an interesting design question. You know, why, why tether and not do, not do it wireless? Um, it's a stable connection. It's a, it's a stable connection, and you don't have to go through pairing and all this stuff. Uh, so you just connect the phone directly through here, and of course, you want to keep your controller charged. 
uh, when you power it on, or if you just tap the power button, you'll see what the charge looks like. It looks like we're at 50% charge uh, right now. Uh, okay, let's see what other questions do we have. Uh, do you have simple shots of the quality of the video? Uh, do you want to show the video again? I'll show you guys a really cool video. Um, show the product video again. Uh, okay. All right, so let's show, uh, I'm gonna show you guys a few videos here. Yeah. Uh, start with uh, the product video. All right, what do you guys think? Woo! Pretty cool, right? Since I don't get applause in the room, I'll give myself a All right, um, do, do you guys want to see a video of uh, what it looks like from, from me drone? You want to see some real footage uh, from me drone? I'll show you that now. Uh, that video is towards the end here, right, so? It's a product video, actually. Huh? It's in it's the product video. Oh, it was already there? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, fantastic. Um, Maybe you can just take some more questions and... So another question uh, that uh, somebody asked right here was, uh, does, does it have GPS? Uh, well, it has uh, GPS uh, for sure. And in fact, there are three different positioning uh, technologies that we're using here. One is GPS, one is GLONASS, which is a GPS-like uh, satellite-based uh, positioning system. Uh, and it also has a... Um, a vision-based positioning system. And uh, if you look uh, right here, I didn't show that earlier, uh, this is the vision-based positioning module. Uh, what you see right here is actually a camera. Uh, it's a camera that's always pointing down. Uh, and the idea is it's very critical for uh, your me drone to know where it is uh, in terms of altitude. It needs to know how far away it is from the ground. And if you don't have the GPS signal, then you will not know uh, where it is relative to the ground. So this camera kicks in at the very least so that if you tell it how to land, it'll know how far it is uh, from the ground um, so that it can really adjust, uh, you know, do a proper landing, uh, if you will. Um, I always like to show this. This is the, uh, the gimbal in action. Uh, you can see basically how it keeps the camera pointed in the same direction at all times. It's pretty cool, right? All right. Uh, now people are asking, uh, what is the price? Uh, what is the price? Should we talk about the price? Uh, yeah. I have to check a slide for this, so I can show you um, all of the details right here. So uh, let's talk about the price. So Mi Drone comes in two versions. Uh, one is the 1080p version. Uh, so that's a 1080p camera with a range of about one kilometer, uh, and that's a uh, 2499 remain B. Uh, you guys can do can run your your numbers there. Uh, so 20, 2499 remain B in US dollars. Do you want to give that range? Uh, if you're if you're in India, I can do a calculation. It's very easy. Uh, it's about 25,000 uh, rupees equivalent, of course. Uh, and uh, the 4K version is 2999 remain B. That's a 30,000 uh, uh, rupees equivalent. Uh, that's about 400 and dollars. So 460 dollars for the 4K version, uh, and for the 1080p version, it's 300 and it's about 400 dollars. About 400 dollars for the 1080p the 1080p version. 
so that's that's me drawing. These are the two versions um, of me drawing. Um, what else? What else? What else should we do? <laughs> Maybe we can take a two more questions. Uh, let's take a couple more questions. Um, somebody asked if, uh, if if me drawn is waterproof. Uh, it is not waterproof, uh, and it also doesn't fly underwater. <laughs> so uh, um, probably better not to fly it if it's rainy. Uh, and it's uh, also not lightning proof. Uh, you know, nothing in life really is lightning proof. Um, so uh, so it is not waterproof. Uh, uh, High Glass is asking about intelligent flight modes. Uh, it has a few different fly, uh, intelligent flight modes. One of them is uh, fly to, uh, to a position, so you can tell it to fly to a particular point in the map. Another one is a flight path where you set waypoints, uh, and then the, your, your main drone is gonna fly to each of those points. Uh, another one is to circle around an object, so you determine a position, uh, you determine a diameter, a, essentially a distance from that point, and an altitude, and it'll just fly around continuously uh, that particular point. Uh, Let's see. Okay. Thank. Let's take two more questions. Yeah, and then thank them. Two more questions. Um, please stop repeating things. <laughs> Dunesh, it's because there are people who are joining us, uh, you know, and I want to be able that everybody gets gets the point. And I'm sorry for repeating myself. Um, okay. Uh, can it live view on me TV? Uh, it's a good question. I don't think so. Uh, you can, but you can live view on any on any phone, on any uh, Android or iOS device. Uh, somebody's saying fly it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would generally recommend against flying in an office um, like we are right here. Even though our office is quite spacious, you guys should actually come check it out. I would generally recommend against it, um, especially if you're flying it for the first time. Look for an open area uh, outdoors, uh, and you can use the. Uh, the propeller guard, by the way, if you're flying for the first time to make sure that you protect the propellers uh, and every part of the environment around you. Uh, okay, uh, I think we are just about wrapping up. Uh, I wanted to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, it's been uh, a lot of fun. Uh, thank you for your questions. Uh, this video will be available um, for the rest of time so you can share it uh, on Facebook with your friends. You can come back and review it, rewind it, uh, watch it again. Uh, the products video you and know. the product videos will all be available. We're going to be posting them on Facebook. You can check out uh, the Me Facebook page, the Me India Facebook page. You can check out my Facebook page, which is what you're in right now, and uh, just check it out. Uh, send us your questions. All right, all right, guys. Thank you.